Good morning. This is Kella Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. Authorities in the Black Hills are trying to figure out what sparked a fire at a popular destination in Custer State Park. Crews were called to Sylvan Lake Lodge Saturday night. Firefighters from several departments were called in to help. Authorities remained at the scene through Sunday morning. The Custer Volunteer Fire Department says the flames were contained to the structure where the fire started. Two firefighters were injured, however, none of the people at the lodge were hurt. Rapid City Police are asking people to come forward with information about a weekend shooting that sent a person to the hospital. Officers arrested 29-year-old Isaiah Mercado for aggravated assault in connection to a shooting early Saturday morning in downtown Rapid City. The victim was taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Police say the shooting appears to be the result of a fight between people who knew one another. If you have any information about the incident, you're asked to call Rapid City Police. A Texas man is facing multiple charges after a crash northeast of T. The Lincoln County Sheriff's Office says despite, uh, repu uh, excuse me, deputies responded to the crash in the area of 271st Street and Curse Lake Place just before 8 a.m. Sunday. A SUV was heading east when it crossed the center line and struck a pickup heading west. The 38-year-old driver of the SUV was arrested for lane driving, DUI, and abuse or cruelty of a minor. Now let's get a check of our weather with meteorologist Brian Karsten's a chilly start to the week, but uh, not too bad overall, Brian. Yeah, I would say overall a pretty quiet weather week. No major storms coming and temperatures will be warming up. Let's look at uh, where we sit with snow on the ground. Yeah, there's a little bit of that left over, but you know what? Yesterday with those warmer temperatures, West River, we actually saw that snowpack shrink a little bit. And I have a pretty strong suspicion that more of this is going to be disappearing. Yeah, I know, just before Christmas. But let's go through today first. It's a chilly day. We've got a few passing clouds, and I think temperatures in Sioux Falls will try to recover back to the mid-20s. That's where we've been holding early this morning. Otherwise, this afternoon, the readings in Aberdeen and Watertown, holding in the middle teens and 20s for the west. Tonight, southerly winds will pick up a little bit. There is some snow in North Dakota, but by and large, that will miss most of Kettle Lamb. The rest of the week in view coming up in just a couple minutes. Thanks, Brian. During this season, people are purchasing ice melt, but there are so many options that it might be hard to decide which is right for you. Different options include pet friendly, organic, and concrete safe. Once you've decided on the one that you need, make sure you're applying it properly. A nice consistent layer. You don't want to dump it all in one spot. That is where the damage with concrete actually comes from. So whether or not it is safe for concrete, a dumping a whole pile of it is not good for concrete. There are also different ways to apply the ice melt, either handheld or walk behind spreaders. New rules start today when it comes to collecting garbage in Sioux Falls. Under a new ordinance, you can choose between curbside pickup or valet services. The new rule also says garbage cans must be stored inside a building or somewhere out of sight. They can be pulled to the curb after 12 p.m. the day before and have to be returned to the building by 11 p.m. the day after. If you have questions on the new ordinance, you are asked to contact your garbage hauler. The 26th annual Heroes Behind the Badge's blood drive starts in one week. You can donate blood in honor of Sioux Falls Fire Rescue or the Sioux Falls Police Department. Friendly competition goes from December 27th to January 7th. You can sign up to donate blood at either Sanford or Avera. The Blood Mobile will also host pop-up donation clinics around the city, including Hy-Vee, Flyboy Donuts, and Shields. You can check out the Community Blood Bank website to sign up. Law enforcement in Western Kelloland are giving back to the community this holiday season. The Pennington County Sheriff's Office, Douglas School Resource Officers, and officials from other agencies once again hosted 20 families in getting Christmas gifts. The families are in the Douglas School District and were picked by the school resource officers with the help from staff. Deputies involved in the event say it was a fun experience. That is a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Brian Carstens. Brian?
All right. Well, today's weather passing cold front moving through the maps there. And as a result of that, temperatures, yeah, dropping today. A little festive flurry activity from this morning is ending, but then another patch of some light snow tomorrow morning. I think in northern parts of the region, North Dakota is kind of the center point on that. So if any of that brushes Aberdeen, it would be pretty quick in the morning and then gone. And then behind that, it's actually looking milder into Wednesday and Thursday. We're going to be back into the 50s in western South Dakota already there and I think widespread 50s in western Kettleland on Thursday so uh, yeah you think about where we're sitting as far as a white Christmas and the odds not very good I have to just be up front with you maybe a shower chance on Friday we're not really looking at necessarily all snow if we get any at all the maps as you see the orange yellow even the reds coming across the center part of the country this week. So that's much above normal weather. It likely will last through Christmas. Then after that, then we'll start to see some interesting changes, a little chunk of cold coming in between Christmas and New Year's. Okay, so there will eventually be a reconciliation with winter. We'll get back on track, but this week probably seeing departures from normal quite a bit. 25 to days who falls. That actually is coming in a little chilly though, but it's the one day out of the next seven that's colder as we got 30s already tomorrow, upper 30s to near 40 on Wednesday, and in the mid 40s on Thursday. There's that 20% chance of either rain or I'll mention it a little snow, but it doesn't look like a lot at this point. We'd have to change things quite a bit to get to snow. So I guess that would be one thing to keep hoping for if you're a fan of a white Christmas. Maybe something that can change on that front. So that's really what we're going to have to hinge on there for a white Christmas. And I think, you know, basically looking at Aberdeen, melting some snow in the northeast even here by Thursday. Some of you have enough snow you'll probably carry through, but places like Pier and Rapid, 50s likely here as we enter mid to late week. In fact, Rapid City probably will end up going warmer than 50. Keep an eye on that as we update the latest numbers on the forecast. Check out details online with our Storm Center update at kennelland.com. And have a great Monday.